I'm a meteorite collector and I'm having a new suspected meteorite classified by a lab. In the last video, I introduced this group of meteorites that I'm having classified. They were recovered in the West African country of Mali, but we need to confirm they are actually meteorites and what type they are. That's something that has serious impacts on what we can learn from them and their monetary value. Today, let's talk about the type sample. That's the piece I actually just sent off to the lab. Most classification labs ask for about 20 grams of a suspected meteorite if possible. From that, they'll cut a small portion to make a thin section slide. That's an ultra thin slice of the meteorite that they can examine under a polarizing light microscope or even in an electron microprobe to study its mineral composition in detail. Beyond that, the lab might use the rest of the sample to run chemical analyses to measure the major and trace elements or isotopic tests to help pin down where in the solar system the stone was formed, where it came from. The notable thing here is that the type sample becomes the scientific reference point for the meteorite. And that's something important to me too, because the sample I send is something I won't get back. The lab keeps it permanently in their repository so that other researchers can study it in the future. It's part of what makes the classification process valuable. Once a meteorite is in the official record, that sample is available to science for years to come. Now here's the tricky part. Sometimes collectors cut a chunk off a larger stone to send, and that can be a little bit heartbreaking for a single stone find or really sculptural meteorites that you'd rather keep intact. Fortunately for me, the group of stones I have from this recovery includes a single stone that weighs just a little bit more than 20 grams on its own, so I'm just going to send that entire stone as the type specimen. The hope here is that it's a good representative sample of the whole group of stones. It certainly looks like the rest of them visually, which is kind of the most I can hope for in choosing the sample here. A lot more to come with this one. Follow for the next video in the series where I'll share some of the first results coming back from the lab and we'll start seeing what type of meteorite we're working with here. 